Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to rotate things with Swift and Xcode. Really, rotating things, that's exciting. Yes, I am showing people how to rotate things and it is going to be very awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. This will be just a single view application. Click next and our product name, I am just going to call mine rotation. You can of course call this whatever you want. Click finish, create. And now let's make this a bit bigger. And let's head over to our main.storyboard. And inside of our main.storyboard, let's first create a button. And this button will be our rotate button. So it will actually rotate the objects that are on the scene. So first let's add a label. And we're gonna rotate all of these objects. This is just gonna show off that you can rotate all of these objects very quickly, very easily. And then we can also put in just another button. We'll, we'll rotate this button as well. And finally, let's put in an image view. Now we're gonna rotate all of these things when we click this button down here, which will be our rotate button, like so. And then we can actually just take all these. We're not gonna mess with constraints today as you will be worrying about that with your own project. Now we have our UI image view, our button and our label. So let's go over here to our assistant editor right over here. And we wanna connect all of these objects that we just created over with our viewcontroller.swift file. So now right click or control click and drag from our rotate button and we're going to add a connection as an action. And the name of this action, we'll just call this rotate. Now the this will be now this will be called anytime you click this button. So as soon as you click this button, we want all of these objects up here to rotate. But right now we need to actually name these objects that are on here. So let's go ahead, right click or control click and drag from this label. And we'll just call this the label. This will be our other button, connect. And lastly, we need to right click or control click and drag from our UI image view over to our viewcontroller.swift and our name of this, we'll just call this image view. Connect, and now we have all of our objects connected up. And now down here on our rotate function, we can easily rotate all of these objects just by simply saying label dot transform equals CG affine transform make rotation. So we wanna make a rotation with this. And what angle do we want this? We'll just make this a 30 degree angle. And then we can easily do this with our other button. So say other button dot transform will be equal to, again, this will be a CG affine transform make rotation. And now in here we can make it rotate 60 degrees if you want. And then lastly, we can do the same thing with our image view and you should get the gist of how this works. You just say image view dot transform equals CG affine make rotation. And we will make this rotation 100 degrees. And now if we were to build and run this, you will see that our project builds and runs, uh, but we can't actually see our image view. So let's go back here to our image view and we're just gonna change the background of this image view to just a nice blue color. And now if we were to build and run, we should see our image view already. So now we have all of these objects on here and when I click rotate, we get our images to rotate. Wow, that was just something else. Okay, so since that wasn't so exciting, let's go over here to our rotate button. We can easily make all of these kind of animate into their rotation. So we can say UI view dot animate with duration right here. We're going to make it animate with duration 1.0 seconds. And inside of here, it wants us what are our animations. So inside of this animations, we just need to say open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, enter, and that will give you a close curly bracket. And then just put all of these inside of here, inside of our UI view dot animate with duration. And lastly, add the last parentheses. Now, as you can see, we're also getting some errors right here. So we need to say self dot a label self dot other button and self dot image view as these are being referenced inside of the view controller now since we created a new UI view. So now what this is going to do is it's going to pretty much do exactly what it says. It's going to animate with the duration of one second and it's going to do all of these animations that are put inside of here. So now if we were to build and run this and now if we were to build and run this again, we will actually get our button when we click on the rotate button, it will actually make it animate into the rotation that you wanted. Well, I guess if you just wanted a button to rotate, all you really need to do is let's first delete our image views that we have right over here, and also delete the references in here and also the transformations that we applied to it. So we have now this other button that we see right here. And now let's say we want this to rotate as soon as the button is pressed. 
So let's just delete this whole rotate function that we have right here. And now let's right click or control click and drag from this button that we have on here and we're going to add an action. In this action, you will see that there are some events. So in this, when the event is touch up inside, so this is generally when you click it and then you release it, then the action happens. So for now, let's actually just make this so it's touched down. So as soon as you click the button, it's going to rotate. So let's say touch down. And the name of this, we'll just call this rotate one. So this will be our first rotation. This will happen as soon as it is down. So right down here, we can say UI view dot animate with duration. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before. Our duration will be one second. Of course, you can make that different. Our animations, we're going to make this open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. And then we need to also finish off our parentheses right here at the end. Now the animations we want to happen, we want to say self. And now the animations that we want to happen are self.otherbutton.transform will be equal to a CG transform make rotation and we'll make it rotate 30 degrees again. So now if we were to build and run this, we will actually have our button rotate as soon as we click on it. So right here, we click down on our button and it rotates. Now, of course, you can make this a bit faster. So let's go over to our animate with duration. And I'm going to just make this a bit more bouncy, I guess, in a way. And now we get a quicker button rotation. Now let's say if the person, say, clicks the button, but they decide they don't want to click the button, so they automatically just swipe off. Let's right click or control click and drag from our button now, and this is going to be an action. And we need to change our events to touch, drag, exit. So as soon as it's touched and then it, you drag off the screen or drag off the button, then you exit. So now the name of this, we'll just call this rotate canceled pretty much. So connect, and now when the ro when you click the button and you click and drag off of it, you're going to make it return to its original position. So right up here, we're just going to copy and paste this whole UI view enemy with duration, and we're going to say self.otherbutton.transform, and we're going to change this value right here to zero. So we're setting it back to the zero position. And now if we were to build and run this project right now, you will see that as soon as we click the button, it's going to move to the position that we wanted it to be for. And then if we click and drag off of that button, it's going to move back to the position and be the normal button that it was before. And now this last one will be when it's released, what do we want to happen? So let's change our connection type to an action. This will be touch up inside and the name of this will just be rotate done. And now that the rotation is done, we will actually make this UI view animate and we'll move it back to its original position. So now if we were to build and run this, we can click on our button, it moves to the position and then we can let go of it and it moves back to the position, which means that this part right here is being called. Still not that impressive in my opinion. Really? You're still not impressed? Okay, well, let's take this button, let's make it a bit bigger, and now we're going to go over here to our attributes inspector, change the background color of it to a nice blue color, like so. And then now, let's say we want this rotate to be done, let's also go down to our UI view .anime with duration. This is mainly just for fun now. We can make this rotate back to 360 degrees. So we're going to make it rotate 360 degrees. And while it's also rotating 360 degrees, we can say self.otherbutton. And we're going to transform. Will be equal to CG of fine transform make scale. So, what scale do we want this to be at? We're going to make it 2000 by 2000, about. That should fit the entire screen. If not, let's build and run, and we shall see. And now we have our button, we can click on it, it moves, rotates, and then we can let go, and then it automatically fills the screen. Now the cool thing about this is if I wanted to, say, move over to another scene, we could just easily do this by adding another UI view controller, and then we kind of... Then we can take this UI view controller, and let's say we want this to move over to that UI view controller after this is done. So, and I'm also going to slow down this rotation right here, so we actually have a slower rotation going on so we can have a kind of cooler effect going on. Now let's right click or control click and drag from this button that you see right here and we're just gonna say present modally. And then we can go on, click on this modal, we're gonna say transition, we're gonna cross dissolve. And now if we were to build and run this, you will see that we can click this button, it rotates and then we let go and then it cross dissolves into 
the next scene. Kind of a cool effect. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more tutorials like this from me in the future, be sure to subscribe. Also, if you want to help out this channel even further, you can head over to MaximeDufo.com and use the offer code Jared, and you get 33% off of his book that teaches you all about Swift. I actually read this book on the plane that you saw in the intro of this video, and it was a great read. It basically took apart what every little thing meant in Swift, and it does everything graphically, so everything's kind of more entertaining to learn about. But anyway, go check out maximedufo.com and use the offer code Jared for 33% off the book and you can help out this channel greatly. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.